4 a.m. in the morning. We woke up bright and early to start hunting. We're going to trek up into the mountains. They got their bow and arrows, their spears. We're ready to catch something. We'll see how it goes. We still got on our wet boots from yesterday. <laughs> got shallow rivers to cross. And we gotta constantly cross. Got the dogs following the leader of the pack, the headmaster of the tribe. They say they don't know his age, but they believe he's around 60 what? years old. He always goes hunting for his food almost every day up the mountains. Very strong. And I don't know if you guys could tell from the video, this jungle is a lot, a lot thicker than what we were dealing with yesterday. This is probably about the third time into this. We've only been on this truck for about 10 minutes so far. Okay, can you look? Oh, shit. <laughs> Almost fell. Can you record? Thank you. We we'll constantly have to. Oh, here's another one right here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we'll constantly have to cross these rivers on the lock on the logs. Mm. Slippery. <laughs> I knew I was gonna fall, man. It was too slippery. There you go. There you go. Better than me. <laughs> I'm inexperienced. There's another creek we're walking in right now. I know. I'm slowing. Slowing everybody down. <laughs> it's hard to keep up with them. I keep losing him. Oh, you fell. Are you okay, bro? <laughs> Gee. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can see it's no joke out here. <laughs> Even though they're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't see the log. That's the slippery. Oh, that's a uh, shaman. He uh, imitates like a bird. He calls. The, the whistle? Yeah. No, the whistle. That that's him? him, that's him. That's oh, him? That's him? Yeah. That's him? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that was him. I thought that was a bird. Yeah. Oh, that sounds just like a bird. <laughs> Why does he do that? To call uh, his dog. I think we'll stop vlogging for now. Because we got a long trek ahead of us. And uh, it's going to be the same thing repeatedly now. We start to climb up the mountain. It's very steep. It's very steep, right? Yeah, very. It's, uh, it's hard to vlog in whole group, but it's okay. Go ahead. This is a steep mountain we're climbing. Keep going up and up. I'm already sweating. Hard to tell how steep it is in the video, but. Whoa. That's that far drop. Don't do that. <laughs> He's all the way up there. See if I can make my light brighter. I'm coming. They got me climbing up a mountain at 4 a.m. Deep breaths. <laughs> Keeps going up and up. And what must go up? Oh, be careful. Because what must what must go up must come down at some point. <laughs> so be careful, buddy. Oh, how far do we gotta go up? Oh my god. Concrete steps up this mountain. They're mud steps from their footprints. I gotta keep taking breaks. Oh! <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. That's a big, beautiful tree right there. Is this the top? Little bit mountain. More. Okay. I'm absolutely drenched in sweat, bro. <laughs> that was rough. <laughs> I thought yesterday was rough. <laughs> I think I beat the record for the hardest track. <laughs> Today's a lot worse. <sighs> That's good. <sighs> and this is just the beginning because we got a lot of trekking. We have began back on the truck, just chopping some trees out of the way, some bamboo. There he is. Moment. Moment. With the cigarette in his mouth. <laughs> He's a savage. Okay. Chopping it straight down with ease. Ready? Thank you, thank you. That's a lot of bamboo. In the back, as you can see. 
Is that the monkey? I'm trying to be quiet right now because I think they hear the monkey that we're hunting. Oh, are you okay, bro? He fell bad. You okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Slowly, bro. I just, I just fell down. Yeah. You have to, be, you gotta be careful. There's like no grip on this tree. <laughs> sounds like a bird. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm turning, brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta go slowly for me. No way, no way. Take your time, bro. I don't want you to fall. Uh, no, that's a that's a very fall. <laughs> that's a, or that's a very steep fall right there. <laughs> Big fall. And there's no hospital nearby. <laughs> Where's the closest hospital? Uh, in Padang. Padang. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a day's trip. <laughs> Finally at the top of the mountain. You can see the sunrise. Hey, jungle. All right, jungle's getting thicker and more tight. No trails. <laughs> and the leader of the pack lost his light. Tried to give him mine and he didn't take it. His battery died. I'm trying to keep my light on him, but it's hard to keep up with him even though he don't have light. And he don't even have clothes on walking through here. It's crazy. Gotta deal with these thorns and mm. done done. Careful. Be careful. Yeah. Very steep right here. Yeah. yeah. You gotta be careful. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Many thorns. I fell two times and I hurt my uh, my hips. I keep running at the thorns. Keep running. You listening for that monkey? Yeah. Sound. I never know. I see the white. I see the brown. I don't know how I'm going to have a little bit of a Yeah, I don't think I told you guys yet, but we're hunting monkeys. I hear the dogs barking. The dogs found something. So he's yelling for the dogs. He's going, doosh, doosh. Monkey, go. Monkey, go. Doosh. Have you bathed yet? We walked through here or go up on the tree? Yeah. Go up on the tree? Yeah. Yeah, up, up. You heard a dog barking? Yeah. Hmm. Uh. Let me close this stick because it's no good now. It broke in half. Oh, it broke in half. We'll find another one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need it. <laughs> it's very helpful, bro. It's a lot harder to walk without a stick. Thank you, thank you. He said, we we're gonna wait here. Okay. And then, uh, we will hurt the uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Okay, okay. So we're gonna hear we we and we'll be able to find them easier. Yeah. Because right. uh he still didn't know yet where uh, this monkey uh, will yeah. run away. He's still he's still gonna wait for uh the dog barking. Okay, okay. Hmm. Okay. We lost we lost them, we lost the sign. Yeah, the dogs are nowhere to be found. Yeah. <laughs> They're hunting on their own. Yeah. <laughs> nice spear, bro. Yeah. <laughs> nice man. <laughs> spear man. Did they hear a monkey? This is Cicada. That's a cicada. Sounds like a monkey. <laughs> I was wondering where his arrows were, and I didn't see that they, they had a lid on it. And it's got poison on them. That's how we are. Oh, be careful, be careful. Surprised the arrow's not falling out right now. It's for a wild boar. Wild boar. Monkey. Uh, it's the monkey arrow. It's different. <laughs> Love it. When 
he sees monkey. <laughs> Ask him if he has good aim. <laughs> what do you say? I said, uh, if you want to practice, you can do it at home because he doesn't want to waste his yeah, 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 yeah. He has poison. Of course, of course. Uh, look, monkey. Kalau kalau kita ditembak monkey ni satu minit mati. Okay. Uh, if they shoot monkey with that arrow, it takes around uh, one minute or two minutes to kill from the poison. Kill with the poison. Okay. Uh. So there's water in this room, and uh, I'm about to drink some. Okay. Mm -hmm. Drink. Thank you. Thank you. It's good. Fresh water. It's delicious. It's got like sap on it or something. Red sap. It's good water. Wanna drink? I will try later. Climbing his mountain like a goat. So there's uh, this big hole in the ground and they say they use that for... For uh, trap the pig. Wild boar. Okay. And they usually put like spears. Spears. Spears, spears from down the there. tree. Not just okay. about... Uh, not just a wild boar. Sometimes also deer they catch. Uh, uh -huh. they, they catch it. Nice. That's pretty deep, maybe. Yeah. We're so high in the mountains, you can. We're leveled with the uh, clouds. Hard to see in the video, but it's a nice view. That's how high we are. All right, so we just got back to their house. Unfortunately, we didn't catch anything. It's almost about 10 a.m. now. We started at 4 a.m., so it's been about a six hour trek up the mountain and back down. What I'm going to do, we're going to go to a nearby village and I'm going to buy two pigs for them. All of our hard work doesn't go unrewarded. It should be interesting to have some pigs and I think also we're gonna get a chicken. We'll see how that goes. We started our journey in search of two pigs. What I thought was going to be pretty quick journey turns out it's not going to be as easy as i thought i thought we were just going to go to a nearby house and you know it'll be that easy but apparently the way it works here is if you're going to go buy a pig you have to kind of get lucky because we're going to go to one village and if they're not willing to sell their pig then we have to go to the next village and if they're not willing to sell their pigs this journey is really going to depend on if we get lucky or not and somebody's willing to sell us the pigs they said it could take up to three four hours we don't really know hopefully not that long because my legs are still hurting from a jungle trek earlier it's midday so we'll see how it goes all right what the leader of the tribe was telling me in english but it was translated to me is that i should give the money for the pigs to him in advance because if we don't they see a foreigner trying to buy the pigs the price is going to go up they might give us a smaller pig than what they would typically give him it's just smarter for me to give him the money in advance so that we don't get screwed pretty much. I gave him 1 million Indonesian, which is, how much you think 1 million is, bro, in USD? $90. Like $100, if that, something like that. Not too bad for two bigs. They said since it's a, it could be a long journey, we're going to do either one big pig or two small ones, whichever one we find first. So the journey is not that long. We'll see how it goes. Very muddy. Literally so hard to walk in this mud so hopefully we do find a pig on the first village we reach every time somebody walks past us the leader asks them do you have a pig for sale obviously in their language we're at another village they just split up one of the people that's with us went over there that one went to the other house you can see they got cages over here pig and chicken okay and dog. so we think they have pig here okay Let's i think go. that's a store over there this is the store right here can you ask him if he has water yeah you have water oh, they also sleep here there's his bed hello nice to meet you Nama, <laughs> Nama. Tyler. 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 yeah Tyler. <laughs> They're also part of the Mentawe tribe. You can tell the people who are part of Mentawe because they have the tattoos. And both of them have the tattoos all over their body. We asked these villagers and none of them have any pigs for sale. We might be unlucky today. Hopefully it's not like the uh, jungle trek. <laughs> Somebody's gonna sell us some pigs. I hope these people don't own any pigs. That's why we're not stopping. Everybody's happy to see him and wants to talk to him, but my guy's on the move, he's not stopping. He knows the journey ahead. 
We're at another village, but there's no pigs here, so we're gonna keep it going until we luck up because right now there's just no luck. <laughs> Be careful. Looks a, lot, looks a lot more rough. Yeah. Watch your step. Yeah, I don't want to fall through like I did at the house. <laughs> <laughs> I fell through the bamboo. There's some uh, Mormon Tawe. Shaman. Right yeah. And then another shaman. Rito. Can I see? Uh, pigs. Pork. 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 What's that? Pork. Pork? Yeah. Oh. Pork inside. Pork inside. Oh. They just want to, uh, want to cook. <laughs> Do you know what they say? No. Oh, what did you do? He took a picture of me. Of me. I still didn't put any makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 So I told the leader of the village that I'm staying in that he could invite all of his friends for the pig. It just so happened to be that those are his friends that we were going to invite. And it would have been a very long trek if um, we didn't find them. It's luckily that, that we actually ran into them on the way to buy the pig because they actually can't even go. And the reason why they can't go is because they went hunting yesterday morning and they their dog killed a deer pretty much. But the deer didn't die instantly. It ran away right and it was kind of just slowly dying and what happened was and they were in the jungle too like we were this morning and what happened was is another villager the Mentawe tribe actually stole their kill stole their deer now they are they happen to know the person who stole it so they're on their way to their village right now and uh, once they prove that they have stolen their deer the people who stole it will get fined and the way it works in the Mentawe tribe is if they get fined that you know they have to give them pigs or mosquito nets or anything of uh, that can be useful because you know they know that that wasn't their kill and they know it was their kill and they stole it anyway they're on the way to that village right now to see what's going on and see if you know they can come to a conclusion so it's pretty crazy he's yelling for people to see if um somebody could take us across the river because we need to cross and uh there seems to be nobody around canoeing right now we may have have to wait until we see a canoe so we can cross the river that's how it is here there's no motorbikes or anything like that no phones to call people and say hey do you got a pig for sale nothing like that it's difficult here we'll see if we can find some money currently at the river waiting for a canoe and they were calling for people to see if um somebody can come help us and then another man of the mentality tribe had came along on the other side of the river and uh he's gonna go look for somebody for us to help find a canoe and apparently he also has a pig for sale but the pig they don't know where it's at right now because they just let their pigs roam around they have to call for their pig if you guys remember from yesterday they were calling for the pig when they bang up against the I thought it was a wind chime but it's not it's to call a pig we don't know how long it'll take for the pig to come but it should have one that we could buy so we'll see how that goes we're going to go a different route because we can't find anybody to take us across the river and apparently the pigs that I was talking about about has ran off too far and they can't find them we're gonna go to another village in a different direction and see what we can find there currently raining right now so we're gonna take a break and uh we ordered yeah, some yeah, noodles yeah. we're gonna eat some noodles and just relax for a second and i'm gonna buy sunscreen because i'm starting to get sunburnt <laughs> so today's been been difficult getting sunburnt getting blisters long walks up the mountain in the jungle crossing rivers all kinds of stuff been walking probably eight at least eight hours today trekking getting cramps feet are sore legs are sore dude that was taking a little break because i need it and then also earlier we ran into some people that had pigs but again they were not for sale and uh the reason why this time it wasn't for sale is because the only pig that they had available was a female and it just had babies and obviously the babies need the mothers it wasn't for sale well she stops raining we're gonna get back at it that's our friend dum dum is his name which i know is kind of odd but that's his name we're still here sitting here where we just had noodles and so the plan 
plan is that he is going to go track for about 30 minutes to an hour to another nearby village in the rain and um, he's going to go get their friend who is also a shaman is what they call him. He right here is a shaman. He's going to bring him here because they have a pig that's nearby near the river that's closer than where he currently is. So he's going to go get him now and he's going to bring the shaman here. We're going to talk to him and try to get him to sell us his pig that is over here at the other river which will save us some walk in the rain. <laughs> Big shout out to Dum Dum. The guy who left earlier, Dum Dum, he was gone about two hours. So where we were we were wrestling for resting for roughly two hours and still no pig. Places he went, he went to a few villages, no pig. We're currently in another village right now, no pig. And now that my body has taken a two hour rest, fortunately, no pig, no animal from hunting. So we go unrewarded. That's just the way it is out here. And it's nothing new to, new to them. It was a good experience experience regardless I had a lot of fun you know the, the 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 animal doesn't that wasn't the goal that was the goal today but that wasn't what I was here for I was here for the experience even though we didn't get nothing it's okay very smashing chili yeah oh very spicy huh <laughs> maybe like getting chili sauce blessing the chicken because he's about to kill it He's still alive. Yeah, but his neck got broken. Finish him. Yeah. This is how they do it in the tribe. I'll be honest, it was kind of sad watching him uh, kill the chicken like that, but uh, I don't think the chicken was still alive. I thought it was still alive after he, you know, snapped his neck, but they were saying it's just his nerves that he was actually dead. So that's a good thing that it was an instant death. If you think about it, we kill chickens all the time. We just, because it's served at the grocery store, it's already packaged up so we don't see it. So it's not as sad, right? We just buy it. Actually seeing it is a little different, but that's the way it is out here. They don't go to the store to buy their chickens so what he was telling me is what he was doing to the chicken was with the leaves and stuff like that was, was he was blessing it saying thank you for the chicken and saying pretty much saying thank you to the gods or something or uh, spirits to the spirits, the spirits saying thank you to the spirits for the chicken because he's raised it since it was just a baby since it hatched the chicken was two years old now they're going to eat it see how it tastes now they're going to finish cleaning it and gutting it and all that stuff. And then, and then, will they keep the blood for yeah, yeah for, for flavor? Yeah, flavor. This is how they see their disease right here? Yeah. Okay. So they're checking to see if the chicken has disease. Checking its intestines. That's how we see if there's any disease in the chicken. Or... Does, does it serve? No, serve from the uh, intestine. Okay, so maybe it's like a different color or something. Yeah, different colors. And they say, uh, they kill about three to four chickens a month. But it depends. Sometimes not at all. But uh, usually three, four times a month they'll, they'll kill a chicken. I was just asking them if they eat the whole chicken, does anything go to waste? They said no, they eat everything, even including the chicken feet, the intestines, they eat it all. And then they asked me what my favorite part was, I said chicken wing. What's your favorite part? For me? Chicken, yeah. Head of the chicken. You like the head? Head. You like the brain? Yeah, brain of the chicken. I like the feet. Oh. You like the, the feet the most? I like the feet the most. That's your favorite. Ah. But I, mm. I want to tell you something. <laughs> you like that? The most favorite part for me from the chicken, it was a uh, female breast chicken. <laughs> you like the breast? Yeah, female breast chicken. You know, breast is good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you cut the chicken wing. Ow! I lose my finger. You cut my chicken wing. Oh, oh sorry. A joke, joke. Oh, sorry, my <laughs> so you will boil it in the blood, right? Yes. You want to feel it? 
The reason why they're killing this chicken today is because when we went hunting and, and also searching for the pig, they didn't get anything. So they decided to kill the chicken and um, they will cook it, watch out, watch out. cook it in the blood. Or boil it in the blood. Are you separating uh, the meat we, over there? We have to put uh, mix it with the soup. Soup over there with the chip chip. But what's the reason you separate? Mm. So this one they will they will boil they will uh, boil it and that meat because Dam Dam he wants to make a soup chicken yeah. soup uh, so he will make the veggies cauliflower uh, okay okay potatoes that's why they separate that yeah one. and uh, carrots and then the other one will be boiled in the blood exactly okay they also add fresh water to it add in the chicken yeah. We're gonna mix tonight. We're gonna mix it with uh, coconut, oh, shredded, gone. shredded coconut, and sugar. Okay, so we're making different sagu. Add coconut. Cutting up the fresh coconut right now. It will give a different taste, and then you, I'm sure you will like and it. And then adding sugar, and then we're going to boil the chicken over here in a separate Whoa. kitchen. Chicken. I didn't even realize chicken, they had another section, it another kitchen. Like Looks like they have another one over here. So they have three kitchen areas. Sagu every day. So they just let me drink all the coconut water out of there because they don't need the water. They just need the meat of the coconut. I'm gonna grind it up into the sagu. And then the chicken soup, the blood chicken soup, all they added to this was lemongrass. Soup's going. They got all the greens in there, I believe. Got a bloody mess in the middle of the kitchen floor. There's the chicken bread soup. Doesn't look, doesn't look bloody anymore. And they put the chicken blood and right, uh, meat right there. The soup. They want me to sit next to them. And we have some rice over there. Some curry, more chicken. Sagu. 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 So this is the chicken blood soup, right? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, they gave me my favorite piece, the wing. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah. No, that is, is lots of uh, so salt. Yeah, yeah lots of salt. Right. <laughs> you can add more, uh, I'll rub it in. Yeah. All right, let's just go ahead and try this because they want to see what it tastes like. Uh, we'll eat the wing. Fresh chicken. Mm. Very good. It don't even taste blood. Oh. And I will try this too. Try the chicken soup. Yes, Good. Good. Sagu. Okay. And this is the new sagu that they made with the coconut and sugar. So it's a different flavor this time. Thank you. Uh, I usually just dip it into the soup. For the chicken blood soup. Yeah. Yeah. Try to drink this bro. Good drink yes. it? Yeah, you can drink it. You want me to drink it? Yeah, 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 chicken blood. You can take it more. You want to get more, okay? Yeah. Alright, chicken blood soup. <laughs> Let's see. Good. Doesn't taste anything like you would think. It's actually packed with flavor. It's really good though. Like broth, yeah? Chicken yeah. broth. Like chicken broth. I see why they want to cook it this way. It's really good. Steaming hot though. Okay. I will finish eating and let's vlog. I think we'll end this vlog here. So, signing off.